morning, friends. My name is Stephanie and I am the New England Stitcher and it is Sunday, March 10th. And I'm a little dressed up, not too much, but I just got, got home from church and set everything up and I uh, wanted to get to you before I forgot. Well, not that I forgot, but just got busy with doing a lot of things. So I'm gonna start today um, by making sure that I recognize my biggest fan. Um, and it's funny because she's actually my daughter's friend in college. Um, and it's actually two of them. Sorry, there's now another. Um, but I just wanted to say hello to Simran and Ev. Um, those are my daughter's friends. And Simran actually, um, she told my daughter that she wants to learn how to cross stitch. Um, they're all freshmen in college right now. But um, I think during the summer or on one of their breaks, Sim's gonna come, I'm gonna take her to Stitch New England, we're gonna get a kit, and I'm gonna teach her how to cross stitch. And my youngest daughter's like, mom, I think you're starting a cult because she knows that I have the, the thing with the students at school. And now, um, now my daughter Jules, her friends want to learn how. So Ev, Sim, I'm so happy that you watch me um, and I can't wait to stitch with you. Maybe we can convince Jules to stitch too. I also wanted to say thank you and say hello to my new friends, um, Sandra and Kathy. They stopped by yesterday and we had a great chat. They, they had come from uh, Stitch New England, had their pickup from Market Day, uh, yes, uh, Saturday, yesterday. And they decided to stop by um, the, the quilt shop at um, Blackstone Quilting Company yesterday to see me. And then we hung out for a few minutes and got to say hello and chat and look about look at fabric and how we're going to finish things and talk about our new purchases from market and you know all the things so just wanted to say hi to them as well um but yeah so let's get started on what i've got going on over here there's a little bit of a pile um this is why diets are not good, right? We should not give up things because once we start once we start letting them back into our lives it just goes a little bit crazy. So, um, but everything does have a plan, but I've, I've actually been pretty busy. I'm pretty proud of myself. So my first start um, that I want to show you is Christmas Means More, and it's by Heart and Hand. And I know it's not Christmas, but you know, sometimes you just get in the mood to start something. And this has been in my pile. It's been kitted up for a long time. And I just got inspired one day and I decided to start I'm using all of the called for flosses right here. Um, I am using 32 count. It's going to be stitched on 32 count sand dollar by tropical stitches. And I started this on the 20th. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Um, of, of, I started it in February after I've, after I saw you the last time. So I just have a little start right here and I, this is a middle start because the pattern is long and I wanted to make sure that, um, I had plenty of room for everything. So uh, that is my first start. And I do have my husband down here today. My, my youngest one, Lily, she is upstairs. She is cleaning her room because if you have a 16 year old daughter like me, um, her room needs to be clean. So she is foregoing the helping of the cross stitching so she can clean her room. Um, uh, anyway, so the next one that I have to share with you I'm very excited. This is my um, leap year start, and it is Symphony of Friendship. There it is without the glare. Um, it's a big guy. I'm hoping it doesn't take me four years to do it because I really want to see this done, but um, I'm going to plan on stitching this every month on the 29th of the month um, and make progress, but this was one day of stitching. Um, I was on a Zoom call with um, I have a group of friends that we meet once uh, every other week on a Friday night. And just after that one Friday night session, that's how far I got. And I am just like, you know, all right. It was a, it was a late night. I didn't get off Zoom until one o'clock in the morning. And then I had to get up for work the next day because I work on Saturdays. And I said to my boss at the quilt shop that I had a Zoom hangover because <laughs> I was so tired from um, hanging out with uh, friends. Uh, on zoom and uh, it was it was it was so much fun it really was it was a lot of fun and I got a lot of stitching done but um, I did have definitely have a, a zoom hangover which is kind of a funny thing so anyway uh, my next start is um, the Quaker birds by the mindful needle 
this was started back in December. Um, I'm doing this with nine ladies from the Stitch New England retreat. Um, we each chose a specific color and then we are stitching on each other's but in our own color so that they'll know, you know, who's are who's based on the color. So for instance, this one right here belongs to Reese. Reese is the owner of the Crafty Grimalkin in Bangor, Maine. And I know that this is Reese's because I know that that's her color. And then right here is Brandy's and here is Cheryl's and here is mine. So I got this from Cheryl and she sent me two. So I'm, I got to get them both out. Um, hoping to get them both out by March 20th. It goes really quickly. Um, I ended up doing the whole entire border on Wednesday when I, I worked on this when I was at Stitch New England um, and I was super happy when they met up. So just a, it goes, it's a very, very, very fast stitch. So I can't wait to see how it comes together. And it, it, it you know, every month when there's a new, a new color, um, I can't wait to see mine. So uh, this, this is, uh, this is the Round Robin uh, Quaker Birds by the Mindful Needle. And um, it is mine. I'm, I, did, I don't know if I said it, but I'm using uh, Gentle Arts Peacock. That's the color that I am stitching with. And we all stitched it on a 16 count. Uh, majority of us, ma the majority of us stitched it on Vanilla Cream by Atomic Ranch. Um, but I think Jenny and Karen, I think they did on something different. But they're still, it's really beautiful, honestly. It's just, it's, it, yeah, I'm excited. So next October, this coming October, when we have Stitch New England, we'll all bring ours and we'll take a big picture with them all complete, which is fun. So anyway, um, the next thing I want to show you was an accidental start this Friday when I was Zooming with um, Brandy and Emma. Um, Brandy was showing me uh, this pattern that was just released from Erin Elizabeth and... I, yeah, it's just, it's just the cutest thing ever. So I, 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 print, I got the PDF, so I didn't print the cover picture, but I will insert a picture of what the spring bunny looks like here. And here's my start on the spring bunny. So this is on a Grace Notes fabric. It's an 18 count. Um, I do not remember the color, but, um, while I was stitching with the girls, um, I had actually gotten all, I had started with this light brown and had gone all the way around. And then I got down here and realized I was off. Um, so I had to rip out like all the way up to his hind quarters and uh, got it restitched. So I worked on that a little this morning while my family was getting ready for church and I was, um, I get up way earlier than everybody else. So I was having my breakfast, stitching on the bunny and uh, I got a little bit more done, so. It's going very quickly and I can't wait to I can't wait to see it all done. So I am using the called for colors except one color. Um, one color I had to replace because I didn't have it and it's all all floss from my stash. Um, it is I'm replacing 3362 with 927. Um, and thank you, Emma. Um, Emma had her handy dandy um, DMC card conversion. So I was uh, trying to find colors and she was finding the right color. Um, if I didn't have a color, she was finding a color that would fit um, and go well. So we only had to do one, which was pretty awesome. So anyway, that those are my starts. Now it's time for whips. So here's my first whip. My first whip I purchased at the Crafty Grimalkin in Bangor, Maine. Um, when I went up to Maine with Brandy and Emma when the store opened the, back in January. So I had purchased this pattern, um, Maine, uh, my happy place. And for, for those of you who are new to this channel, um, I am called the New England Stitcher because I currently live in Rhode Island. Um, I was born and raised in Massachusetts until my parents divorced and my mom moved us to Maine. And I went to college in New Hampshire. Um, but Maine, I don't know, Maine has always felt like home to me, even though I spent probably the least amount of my, you know, youth or years there. Um, when I was a kid growing up, my parents moved in, in Massachusetts. They moved from, you know, every year when the lease was up, they moved to a different apartment. We didn't own a home. We lived in an apartment. Um, and Maine was the first time we ever actually owned a house. And I was in that home from seventh grade until high school and it was the only place that really like when I think of home I mean my house now is home because we you know with my family but um, my childhood home 
um, my that childhood home is Maine, even though I didn't live there as long. I lived in Massachusetts till I was 12, and then Maine was only for six years. So um, those, you know, they're the formative years, your middle school, high school, uh, the relationships you really remember, right? You don't remember exactly everything from your elementary years or even prior to that, but um, you definitely remember middle school and high school. So Maine will, even though I'm not technically a Mainer, um, Maine will always be my home in my heart. So um, my husband and I, he's from upstate New York, right by Canada. And, um, you know, we're definitely not, <laughs> we like we like North. So when we are able to retire, we will definitely be going North. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, New York State, someplace north where it's cold. We like it there. Um, but anyway, here is my here is my start. Um, so I finished the words, so Maine's all stitched, and then all around it um, are the vines, the blueberries. Um, and it's gonna go all the way around. And I'm stitching this using um, everything that I kitted up um, at Reese's shop. I'm using dinky dyes that I picked out. Um, and I'm stitching it on Atomic Ranch Vintage Smoky 32 count. Uh, and again, I'm using these dinky dies, the colors, there's four, which is great because it's not a very expensive project to do something like dinky dies in because, you know, you only need four colors, but um, I'm using Coral Lagoon, Nutwood, Dreamtime, and Swan Valley. Those are the, those are the colors. Um, and I'm keep, and I'm reading off of them. So one of the things I started doing, um, I learned about at the Stitch New England retreat, people were passing out things. So I started making cards, you know, with my information on it. And then on the back, it has, you know, the name of the pattern and um, who it's designed by, what, what, um, brain fart, sorry, um, what fabric I'm using, what threads, that kind of thing. So that's gonna keep it all together. And then if I accidentally like leave these out, I know which bag it goes in, I know which project it goes with. So um, I would encourage you they weren't very expensive. I got them on, I uh, made them online on, I think it was Vista print, but um, not too expensive, easy to do. Um, but, you know, and I plan on, you know, passing some around at another retreat and sharing with my friends. So that is, um, that's my first whip. Um, here is my second whip. Now this second whip, it was a boss me call for February and it, it is going to have to have a change. So I did make some progress. This is um, Bluebirds of Happiness. This is blue by JBW Designs, and it's a beautiful pattern. She released it last year at the, I think it was a winter retreat by Keepsakes. Um, and I love this. This was going to be my birthday start, but it is now not because it got called from um, the Boss Me board. And I probably should have changed it, but it's okay. I was, like, I'm, I was excited. So I bought all the Vicki Clayton silks for it. And I have the Vicky Clayton silks here because the the, the bobbins, um, when I'm trying to cut things with the bobbins, the kitties like to play with them because they roll. Um, so I put them on floss drops so that would not happen and they would stay nice. But here's my situation. And I talked to some friends about this. So I've got all of this. Let me get closer for you. So this is the first bird that I'm stitching and it was stitched. The color that was called for was this, according to the conversion, Vicky's conversion, was this beautiful variegated um, blue to gray to light blue um, silks, okay? But the problem with it is, is on the bird, you can't really tell that it's a bird. So I ended up talking to some friends and I ended up going to Pam shop. Like I said, on Wednesday, I went to um, Stitch New England and I ended up finding a medium blue and I'll show you them here. So here's the medium blue that I just picked up. It's an NPI and it will fall in between, you know, the colors it, that, that are called for. So um, it will definitely, the bird's now going to show up. I'll be able to see the chest of the bird. Um, I can be able to see its beak, its eye, that kind of thing. And also holding the, the flower. So I'm going to have to do a little ripping on that but I think I'll definitely be a lot happier with it. Um, this is a piece that I do, you know, I did it in silks. I want it to be, it's an important piece. It's a special piece um, and I love it. So that will be fixed and I will keep on working on that one, um, hopefully this month. Um, and my last, my last whip, this is supposed to be my, um, my smalls exchange <laughs> for an upcoming <laughs> retreat. I've only got a little bit done, but I got to, it'll go fast. It will go fast. I just have to 
dedicate a, a couple days to it. So this is going to say create every day. And this is um, the free create every day pattern by Teresa Kogut. Um, I did it. I had actually completed this and then a friend's birthday came. So I shared. <laughs> and so now I have to restitch it. But that's fine because it's, it's, it's a great project. And I do love stitching on these bags. And I think that's a great gift for somebody. So if you're looking for something like that, um, you know, that's just another idea. Take, take a pattern, a small pattern, and, you know, stitch it on. I've seen, um, I've seen uh, Stitch Etc. They do a lot of the stitching with the housewives on these bags. Um, and I think they look great. So just a, a, a little tip from me to you if you want to stitch something for a retreat or a friend's gift um, that doesn't take too long and goes pretty quickly. Nice. So now it's time for finishes and I'm gonna count this as a finish even though it's not a complete finish. So the other pull that I had for the Boss Me board um, and again, for those of you who are new and they, you don't know, Boss Me is just like Whipco, um, but it was started by uh, the, the Boss Me stitchers from, um, sorry, the Boss stitchers from Ma Boston, Massachusetts, and the main stitchers, Missy and, and Kathy, um, they're two needles pulling thread, and so it's Boss Me, Boss, Boston, Maine. Um, and they created this board with the blessing of the lady who created Whipco, and so you just put anything on there. So if you wanted to clean your craft room, you could do that. Um, you wanted to make a gift for a friend that could be on there too. Um, but it's just, you know, your board, your rules, you decide. So my, um, small, nope, not small town, tiny town, uh, bees, tiny town, um, was called and I started stitching it. I had actually purchased all the Victoria Clayton silks, um, because I was going, I had already done the hive rules, but I thought, although well, the colors are going to match completely fine for, you know, going to the small tiny town. As I was stitching it, I wasn't loving it. Um, and I added a couple other blues that I had that were NPIs that I thought might help me love it more, but I wasn't loving the color conversion. I actually love the um, Tiny Town Bees. I love the colors, I love the way it is on the pattern. Um, so as I was stitching it and I'm looking at the pattern, I just didn't love it. So here's where I stopped. I actually just finished this one little, um, this one little part, that was the first part. And it's pretty, it really is, it's a very pretty little house, um, but I think, well, I know because I actually ordered from one, two, three stitch. I ordered the flosses for the, um, the bees tiny town so that I could stitch it again and do it in the, the fancy flosses. Um, Victoria Clayton silks are, like I said, beautiful, but I wasn't getting the variegation that I was looking for. I wasn't the colors I wasn't getting. And I thought I wanted everything to match the primrose because I've done all the bees from the primrose and I thought, well, let's keep it all together. But the, the more I'm getting into stitching, the more you know, you fall in love with the pattern and that's what you want it to look like when you're done. So not that you, you know, not that you can't change it because people are, we change things all the time. But, um, you know, for me on this project, I loved the blues. I really loved those blues. So that's what I was missing. And that's why I'm restarting it. Um, I probably will continue just to stitch it on a 36 count. Um, and then I'll restitch it. And then this will just be a little smalls that, you know, I can turn into something. Maybe I'll add it to a keeper. I don't know. We'll see but I did have some finishes I had two finishes uh, if you follow me on Instagram you probably already know one but um, this one I finished last night I didn't go to bed until I finished it didn't take that long but um, this is my uh, first finish for you to see and it is gathering clovers it's by luminous fiber arts right here just like that um, there's some mistakes but that's okay I made it my own <laughs> so if you see them good job and, and if you don't don't worry about it um so i found these i had these antique buttons um my husband and my daughters this past fall we went to an antique uh i don't know there's a small town in, in connecticut that has like four or five antique shops and we went to um one just one because it's huge um and i found a, a jar of buttons for like three dollars and so i had a bunch of them and you know those two little buttons were there and i did stitch this in collard greens it's the Belsoi um, over dyed silks. So this is going to just be a simple pillow um, for, think, uh, for Thanksgiving. No, for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm excited to have this done in, in, in time. I'll actually get this finished for St. Patrick's Day. So that's, that's a good thing. That's my plan after this video is to finish it. Um, sorry I couldn't get it done before, but who knows if the video would have gone up today <laughs> if I did make that. 
Um, but here's my next one and this finish. Oh, so excited. Okay. So here's Wisdom by Teresa Kogut. Um, I started this and I can tell you the information because I got the little doodad. Yep. Um, so Wisdom by Teresa Kogut. It is stitched on 40 count mocha linen and I changed three colors and some of you have asked me for those colors and if you want to know the colors um i did not i actually didn't write them on this card because i wasn't thinking about that but didn't think anybody would want them but um i did get quite a few people that wanted them so what i did is on the floss tube channel on my floss tube channel and under the community tab um i actually took a picture of my chart oh i have my chart i can actually tell you um of my chart and um and i wrote down what i changed so for those of you who want to know, it's already in pencil, but um, I changed Old Money to Summer Shower, Gentle Arts Summer Shower. I changed Shell Pink Dark to Gentle Arts Brethren Blue, and I changed the Terracotta Light to Classic Colorworks Deep Fennel. So I'll get that, that, get that up really close for you so you can see that. So take a screenshot if you want it, but if you forget, it is actually under my community tab, um, and you can see it. But here it is so excited i i love it so much and it's crazy to think like i did take a picture of it posted it on instagram and i tagged Teresa Kogut. so excited she actually replied and she thought they were pretty so she said she loved the blues and i was just like yay she replied i know super fangirl moment but whatever um so here's the pinks again and then here's my blue um and this is gonna go in my bedroom and i just love it i love i love what it says it just makes me happy. So I did end up leaving off the alphabet in the hand, um, but Emma, I, 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 filled, I filled this in. Yeah, that was, that was not fun, um, but I'm happy that it's done. And I really, I love the brother in blue, like I did. And I just, you know, I did add a few touches of pink and um, that dark red, um, like the door and the heart, um, just because I felt like, I don't know, I just wanted it there, it just made me happy, so. Um, I hope you are happy to see it, but I'm just so happy it's done. And then I went in haul. You're going to find, you're going to see, I, I found a frame that I, I think is going to work. Um, I went to Michael's and I did exactly what Missy, no, what Kathy from, sorry, Missy, I just keep thinking about you. Um, but I, I, from Kathy from Molly and Kathy Linen and Scraps, she said to go to Michael's. So I went into Michael's, I went into the back, I went into the frame area and I just looked around and I did not see any frames. So then I saw a lady and I said, excuse me, do you happen to have any of the frames that people don't pick up or they, you know, there are mistakes? And she's like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I found them and so they were $8. I was just floored. Cause you know, we go to Michael's and a frame's like 30 bucks, but I can handle an $8 frame and I found two. So you'll see those in just a few minutes in the hall, so. Anyway, oh, can't wait to hang it. Can't wait to frame it. And I just love it so much. So anyway, thank you for humoring me and my excitement about this stitch. Previous finishes. So for St. Patrick's Day, um, I am Irish. Um, as far as how much Irish, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've never had my DNA, you know, the 23andMe or um, any of that done. Um, I would love to sometime, but uh, I've never done it. But I do know that there is some Irish in me, and um, I love I love St. Patrick's Day. I, there's actually more Armenian, though, believe it or not. Um, I'm actually, well, according to the math in my, my head for my parents, my dad is 100% Armenian, so I would be half Armenian, um, if all that is true. But, you know, you, like I love when you watch those commercials and somebody's like, yeah, I always thought I was this, and then they ended up being something else. So... You know, I don't know until I actually get the proof on paper. Um, I can only go by what my family, my, my family and my parents have said. So, but my great grandma, she came from England on the side right near Ireland. So um, I talk about her a lot. Her name was Margaret. Um, but anyway, so this is my Irish stitch. I did this last year and this is how I finished it. It is Luck of the Irish. Um, and I believe it's by Stitching with the Housewives because that font looks very familiar. Um, and I just, I got one of those, um, the boards I used from fabric, some of these little felted shamrocks, and that's how I finished it. Here is another 
finish that I have for St. Patrick's Day. This is Shamrock Wishes uh, and Irish Kisses, and this is by Primrose Cottage. I finished it on just one of those boards, um, wrapped a little twine here, and just found some green that I had. I've got pom-poms and rickrack um, there. I guess I could talk about it now. Um, this is just a table runner that I made when I first started quilting and I was learning how to free motion quilts by watching a lot of Angela Walters. Um, she is the quilter who quilts for Tula Pink and she was talking about free motion quilting and I found this pattern, um, this table runner pattern, it was uh, a tutorial on Missouri Star Quilt Company. So if you're looking for it, if you go back, I want to say this is at least I think I did it in 21, so three years old. Um, and I did free motion quilting on it in the in the blank spaces. But um, love how it came out. Just used a bunch of different greens that I have, and I love how it like interlocks. It was super easy. It was only half square triangles. It definitely is beginner friendly. So if you're a quilter um, and you're looking for something, but I was using this more to test out my free motion, you know quilting techniques and rulers, uh, my ruler work, because I was trying to, to get better like Angela. Um, not there, <laughs> definitely not there yet, but um, I, I, you know, it's, I like it. It makes me happy to see it. And, and then I can go back and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm a, I'm a critical person of my own work. So I'll go back in and I'll look at my, um, <laughs> my mistakes. But um, from this distance, it looks good. <laughs> but all of this behind here in the shamrock empty space, those are all um, pebbles that are just like little circles. You just keep going around and around. So it's a filler. Um, and it really makes the shamrocks pop out. Had I known better, I probably should have done a double batting on it. And then they would have puffed up even more. But it's just a table runner. Uh, you know, stuff sits on it. Stuff gets spilt on it. I was looking at it earlier when I was hanging up and I was looking at some stains <laughs> that I didn't notice before. Um, it is washed. I do wash it before I put it away, but it's okay. You know, you know, we look at stains and we look at marks on tables and furnitures and you, there's always something associated, some sort of memory that's associated with it. So I'm just going to accept those as memories and appreciate them for what they are. So anyway, that is my, um, my quilts and my quilting and my, my finishes. So haul. <laughs> All right. I know Brandy and Emma say it, but buckle up your seatbelts, folks. <laughs> There's some stuff. Um, I was just talking about when I was talking and showing Wisdom by Teresa Coget. So this is the frame that I found that was $8 and um, it has a nice deep um, space so I can um, have plenty of room to finish it. Um, even if I wanted to put a piece of glass in, I think my husband could definitely cut it. It's just, um, it was one of those odd sizes, but it happens to be perfect for, um, it would, there won't be a lot of space between the, the stitch and the frame, but I'm okay. It'll be a, it'll just be a tight fit, but for $8 and it matches the, like a lot of the other frames, like the colors, we have a lot of black frames in our house. So, um, you know, that works out well. Um, this was the other frame that I found and I'm, I'm going to do a little prayer, do a little prayer. I hope that, um, live on little fits into it because this is a nice Navy, um, frame that's been, you know, scuffed up, um, I did it. I did stitch live on little on 36 count, but I'm not going to do the bottom part. I'm just going to do that little top part of the water and I'm not doing the, the way bottom part of the water. So I'm going to pull out stitch on, uh, sorry, not stitch on little, live on little. And I'm going to, um, see if it'll fit. If not, it's okay. Maybe I'll modify the pattern. Maybe I won't, but maybe I'll definitely use this for something because this Navy is, it's just perfect and it will look great in my room. Um, if it's not stitched on, if it's not the live on little and it's something else, it'll look right in there. Um, especially when I get that new quilt all done in the bedroom with those navies. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the two frames that I picked up yesterday, um, on my way home from work at Michael's. All right, <laughs> here it goes. So this was not originally on my list when I was, when I actually did my pre-orders for Stitch New England. Um, but it was at the shop and I was like, well, I have all the other ones, so I guess I have to. Uh, so I picked up Spring Quaker. I'm not sure how I feel about the purple because there's not a lot of purple in my home. Um, so I did look for something 
um, that had like, you know, you know how there's all the variegated floss that have like, you know, one color to another color to another color. Um, and they just didn't have the color that I was looking for. I was really was looking for something like pink, blue, purple, yellows. Um, so I was talking with Pam and um, Pam, Pam mentioned, um, I believe it's almond M&Ms. Uh, they're a silk dyer. Zan, uh, crazy band lady, had mentioned them to me as well because she loves their flosses, the silks. Um, so I think I'm going to go check them out and see if I can find something because it, you won't need, you just need one skein. Um, but and maybe I'll find something else. Um, but I thought that might be fun to stitch it on. I know my daughter's going to probably be disappointed. My oldest Jules, cause she loves purple. Yes. Frosty tiny town. This is my favorite tiny town. Absolutely adore this tiny town. Love it. Absolutely love it in love with it can't wait this will definitely be something I probably start maybe it'll be a Christmas in July start so that I actually have it and I'm gonna stitch it into a drum because now I love drums not afraid anymore can't wait um, and along with the other primrose I got the 4th of July rules um, I have all the other fourth uh, all the other fourth of July I have all of the other rules completed done um, I interchange them throughout this throughout the, the year um, so I'm really excited about this. Maybe she'll have a spring rules because right now nothing is up. You know, I can't wait for Halloween rules though. That's going to be a fun one too. Yeah. I'm not sure about the bunny though. I know. I love this whole thing, but the parade with the bunny, I don't, I don't know really, I don't really associate 4th of July with the bunny. I wish it was like an uncle Sam. That would have been fun. Maybe I'll have to find an uncle Sam and maybe I'll change out the uncle Sam for that. Hmm. But I still love it. Still love it. And it's going to go in the frame that I have. Okay. Um, you're going to see most everything I purchased, like actually pre-orders were 4th of July related. I do love the 4th of July. Um, and last year I didn't actually get to celebrate because that's when I got COVID. Yeah, that's right. Teacher that I never get, I, I never get that kind of sickness during the school year. I always get it when it's a holiday. Yeah. Lucky me. Um, so Anyway, here is Plum Street Stars, and here is Shakespeare Peddler's Stripes and Stripes. I love that little ampersand with the, the stars and the, uh, sorry about the glare, the stars and the striped uh, S. So cute. Love that. Love the barn. Love this house. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cannot wait to stitch it. Cannot wait. Oh, and sorry, back to Primrose. Sorry. Um, Patriotic Quaker. Mm-hmm. Yep, love this one too. Oh yeah. You know how well me and Quakers get along, so. Yeah. I still haven't finished the Bee Quaker. All the other Quakers are done. The Bee Quaker, I don't know if it's because of the different colors, and maybe this is going to end up being like that, because this one has three colors. No, I think it has four. Four colors. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? What else did I get when I was at Pam's? Okay. While I was at Pam's, I needed to finish kitting up. Sorry, it's in here, but you can see it is to spring. This is going to be my start. Brandy and I are starting it on March 21st. It's the spring um, equinox. Um, it is the first day of spring. So we will be doing to spring and starting this Brenda Gervais. I have the other ones completed. I have them FFO'd. They will be little pillows. Well, they are, they actually are little pillows, little pillows. <laughs> No, they're little pillows. Um, and this one will also be a little pillow. Oh my gosh words are hard this morning it's that hour like that we lost because that means I didn't get up at 6 30 but I actually got up at 5 30 and on a Sunday come on now I get up at 5 every day but sometimes we try to sleep in a little bit um so birthday start if you would like to stitch along with us or stitch along with me um so my birthday happens to be April Fool's Day funny story when I was born the nurses said hello mr peterson you have you know congratulations you have a little boy and then they april fooled him and you know here comes this little girl with a pink hat on so um and in honor of my birthday i love this 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 cross stitch um and i love that so here's why so the proper stitcher this is the one i'm choosing for my birthday first off i love what it says it says, for those of you who don't know, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. And it's Proverbs. Um, I am, I, I go to church. <laughs> I believe in Christ. Um, and this is something that um, 
you know, it's meaningful to me. And that's what I think your birthday should be. Some, you know, your birthday start should be something that means something to you. But the other reason why I picked it was because it's by the proper stitcher. And the proper stitcher, in case you didn't know, her she started her floss tube on April Fool's Day, which is her birthday. So, um, so Annie, I'm starting this pattern by you. That's upside down. <laughs> by you on my birthday. Um, I do know that Brandy is going to be stitching it with me. Um, I think Emma's going to eventually stitch it when we pass her our pattern because she's on a pattern no buy um or maybe next year she'll do it um and i believe nisi um from nisi stitches she's a friend in florida um she will be stitching it as well but it, so i'm just getting that was a couple plans but while they were out i figured i'd talk about it um okay haul's not done people so sorry all right um so my friend Sarah, Sarah's my friend that I work with and I got her into cross stitching and Sarah has come full circle. She has gone down that rabbit hole. She comes in in the morning and she's like, have you seen this floss tuber? And have you seen this floss tuber? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, I just, placed, she texts me. I just placed an order to the Crafty Girl Milk and I just added something to my Stitch New England cart. Um, anyway, she's coming to Stitch New England with me for her very first retreat. Um, and I just adore her. This, I was talking about buttons one day and I told her about the Just Another Button Company. So she got on and then she started looking and then I had popped in her room at the end of the day and she, you know, I was supposed to leave like, but I ended up staying for like an extra 20 minutes and I and add, had her add two things to her cart and then I Venmoed her. But here's what I added. I added girls night out. So in case you don't know, and I didn't know this either, but you buy the buttons and you get the pattern for free. So technically I didn't buy the pattern people. I bought the buttons. Um, <laughs> looking for all those ways around, um, getting, you know, that diet thing. But, um, anyway, so I bought the, I bought the, the, I bought the buttons and it came with the pattern, but this is just like a hocus pocus thing. I am going to change their hair color to look like hocus pocus girls. So the reason why this is like so meaningful to me and I just love it so much. I love the movie hocus pocus, but Sarah, my, my partner teacher, and my other partner, uh, like down the hall, the art teacher, Shannon, they, they, together, we dressed up like the Sanderson sisters. I was Winifred, Sarah was Mary, and Shannon was Sarah. Anyway, it was all because of hair color. Um, anyway, I'll insert a picture here. Um, anyway, the teeth and... I don't know, like I put in those teeth and I like transformed myself into Winifred and I would, you know, I would talk to the students. I'd be like, sisters? And I just, you know, if you, if you know, you know, but, um, it was such a fun day for Halloween. I love getting dressed up. I love those spirit days. They make me, those are the days that invigorate me and just make me love my job even, even that much more. So I purchased from one, two, three, the fabric that matches for this pattern. I just love it so much. Anyway. Okay. Well, things can't travel alone. So I said, I did say I bought two things. Now, I bought these buttons right here. So that means I bought, got this pattern, Flip Flop Days. And this is not for me. This is actually for a very dear friend. Um, I bought this very bright green fabric that it goes with. And I think it's going to be super fun. I love it. All right. Well, while I was buying that fabric from 123 Stitch, I got some other fabric. Please don't judge me. I know, I have a problem. Hi. Um, here's what I got. I got Latte by Fiber on a Whim. I got, and this is, these are 20 counts, I should say that these are all 20 counts. I got Fiber on a Whim Brown Sugar. I got Milk and Honey, 20 count, fiber on a whim. I got Wheat. This was the one that I thought actually I was going to end up going with. Um, this was where it came down between the two that I have, you know, what, I, what I'm currently stitching it on and this one. Um, and then, you know, it's so funny how different they also look too when you're purchasing them online. They don't really look like they do in person. So. I think I'm gonna have to be a in-person fabric shopper unless I already know what it looks like. But um, buttermilk, I didn't realize how yellow, this is a very yellowy 
um, buttermilk. I'm just not sure if it's coming across um, in the light. Um, and then, um, then I got uh, this. So I'm stitching it on 32 count Ren. Um, and I just thought that was a really pretty color. So that is what I am stitching on. Those were my um, purchases from 123 Stitch. Now, I do have one other purchase, and then I'll show you um, uh, my, my smalls exchange from the Blackbird. Um, so last time we talked, I shared with you how I use beeswax and how I use it to kind of keep the thread, first of all, to help me thread it, then to keep the thread inside the needle, especially when you're dealing with silks. Like just that little bit of wax really helps to keep the, the silk on the needle and you're not constantly having to re-thread the needle. But this is what I purchased from Amazon, just so you know. Um, this is the one I always always get, um, yellow beeswax. That, that's, that's my haul that I purchased. And then this is my gift exchange. So, um, very sweet. She put on her card, um, she wrote a very nice note explaining everything. And then um, she wrote on the outside of the envelope, open this after you open all the packages. So I did. And this was just absolutely incredible. And I don't feel, I posted pictures of it on Instagram, but I don't feel like it did it any sort of justice. Um, so here is the Blackbird that she stitched for me. And then look at that braiding. Like she didn't, like her, um, her cording, she didn't like just twist it. She actually braided it. And I thought that was really, really smart. And I never seen anybody do that because again, like I'm new to cross stitching and um, I love that. And then inside this little box is just a little treasure. So she used Blackbird um, fabrics. And in here there is um, a needle book, a pin cushion, and then um, you could tie your scissors in there. Um, just super sweet. Just love this. So this is gonna go by my bed. Um, it, it, I've kept it down here in my haul box because um, I didn't want to forget to show you, but I really, um, really truly appreciate that. And then not only did she send me that wonderful gift, she, she made this and I thought that this was just such a perfect, perfect um, little case for a project. Um, I love it. Um, there is lots of little treasures inside. There's this great little strawberry. I mean, come on, I love this. And I, I think the strawberry actually goes, if I'm not mistaken, I think it goes inside the box. Um, and then there's this little Oort container that she made. I mean, can I sew? Yes, I can sew. But the fact that I don't have to make this for myself and that somebody made it for me, I love it even more, truly. Um, little snaps, snaps right together. Love this, love this. Um, here is another one. She did it out of paper. So clever. So if you are crafty like her, a paper crafter, I'm sure you could do the same thing. She made it into a little box and then it collapses. That was genius. Um, there's a cabochon and some floss drops with the stitch. She took a picture of it and then made it into, oh, love this. And a needle minder. I mean, are you kidding me? It's the stitch again. I mean, this woman, Michelle, absolutely, absolutely impressive and amazing. Um, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So. Stitchy kindness. Again, I know I keep saying this, but I really am truly overwhelmed and amazed at the generosity um, of this community and how much they've gifted to me for my children, my students um, at school. And I can't wait to bring these to the girls on Tuesday so that they can see um, all of these wonderful things. But um, the ladies that I work for, their auntie, um, she gifted me some more things um, and wrote me a nice note and, um, you know, that I'll treasure. Um, and she gifted me some more fabric and some Kleinic. Um, and this already surged. Hello, thank you. Um, more fabric and yeah. So this is gonna go to school with me tomorrow for the girls. And then, um, so thank you, auntie. And then I received this lovely, um, lovely package from Bonnie. Um, Bonnie, thank you so much. So she gave me a ton 
of um, a ton of DMC that are bobbinated and not bobbinated, but amazing. She gave me um, some fabric to give the girls and these sweet little kits that I can't wait to show the girls because I know they're going to be excited. So one of the things Sarah and I talked about, um, we I think we've got probably close to enough. If not, we can get some more, but um, kits for the girls to take home over summer and, and holidays and breaks. Um, but there's this one little kit right here. There's a dimensions kit that are Christmas themed, which will be perfect for the girls to stitch on. Um, it's nice because now it's gonna get them to try to practice stitching on um, a different color. Um, so, um, there, and I, I, they, I think I left the fabric upstairs. But Bonnie, thank you so much. Um, I had the, um, I'll, I'll definitely insert some pictures here. I had the girls uh, in the last meeting, I had them um, write some thank yous to um, those friends and then we made them a little gift for the for them you know for them to keep but Is, uh, that is my stitchy kindness. And I want plans. I have to talk about my plans. Um, so plans, I did mention um, Tis Spring. I'm going to be starting that on March 21st. Um, the Strength by um, Proper Stitcher, Strength and Dignity. Um, that will be started on my birthday, April 1st. On the, at the Library Stitches Retreat, I'm starting Violet's Blue. A by Blackbird and Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick. Um, between now and then, I'm also going to be starting Let Love Rain. But with Let Love Rain, I'm not going to do the alphabet. I'm just going to do that flower basket and I'm going to do the border around that flower basket. So I'm going to do a little modifications for that. Um, I'm going to be doing the Brenda Gervais stitch along with Holly Jones and um, in May, I have Brandy and Nisi's birthday, so we'll have their birthday start. And I, we were talking about it the other night, and I can't remember what. Uh, we were going to do the Mighty Oak, and then some, oh, JBW's Cardinals. I think that's what we're doing um, for their birthday, so I have to order that and then kit that up. And then in June, uh, I'm going to start the Autumn Quaker, so that I will have some bit of it started, so that when I get to Stitch New England, because that's our Stitch New England um, stitch but we want to all have it started prior to stitch new england um yeah so those are my plans and if you want to join me on any of them i don't have a hashtag but uh feel free to leave me a message and chat with me about that um but yeah i mean those are really fun things and um i think that i think that's i think that's everything um so I hope you have a great two weeks. I will see you when I get back. And when I get back, um, my, my oldest daughter, Jules, will be home for that video. And she's already promised to do all the editing because she can do it so much faster. Um, I do apologize for my last video. I was filming it because I did it without my family. Um, my husband was here for this one. Um, but I was filming the last one without my family. So I was filming it on my old MacBook and the uh, Brandy, Brandy, not Brandy, Emma said it looked like it had a filter because it was like a little blurry. Um, so I apologize for that. I was stitching it on my own MacBook and she gave me, uh, Emma gave me a trick. So we're stitching it this way and I'm hoping that it works out okay. Um, but feel free to leave me comments and, um, you know, I love, I love hearing from you. I love, I love communicating with you. Um, and I just, I just 
this this is my happy thing right um when i was getting ready down here i cleaned up my craft room it was like i was cleaning up for guests coming over to my house you know um not that you can see the rest of my room maybe someday because it's in the basement and it's a lot this is a hot mess but um i was cleaning up the table for use because i was laying everything out i was doing the ironing um but it did it made me it makes me feel like i'm i'm getting ready for company so um Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I really, I really just love being a part of this community and I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to do so. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.